Hi, welcome to our Hibernate tutorial. Let's look into the Hibernate criteria projections. Previously, we have seen Hibernate criteria. In criteria, we can get an object which contains the data of all the fields of the table. And finally, we will uh, we are printing the value simply using the iterator. So if we have a case in which we need to print only two fields from a database instead of all the fields, it is not uh, an easy task by using the criteria because the, by using criteria we are getting all the data from all the fields of the table. So in this case we can make the use of Hibernate projections. Here we have two clauses, projections and projection list. Projections is the clause which provides projection objects. And projection list is a list which contains the required properties of the table. So this is the clause. So up to here we have opened the session. And here by using this method create criteria it returns a criteria object so up to here we are clear so far right so after this we are having a list which is a projection list projections dot projection list so here we are having a list and we are adding the properties or the fields of the data um, of the database table we are adding the fields which we are required to print so we are just adding these fields or properties so I know I have so many uh, columns in the database table worker but I want to print only ID and name so I'm just adding these two properties to the list projection list and here I am setting this list to the criterion object by using this set projection and finally here the select query will be executed by the hibernate so this is what is happening in here by using the projections let's run this sorry it's taking time well we got it see a select query has been executed it is just printing the ID and the name we also have a salary field salary properties also there but it is not printing because we have requested for only ID and name in here here we are just iterating through the, through the list to print all the fields so this is what we are doing in here let's create one more class to count the number of rows of a table So this is the program to find the row count of a database table. So we can get the row count by using this method, calling this method on projections. So up to here we know we are, we are opening the session and by using this create criteria method we are getting a criteria object of type of worker clause. <coughs> So here we are adding one projection which we are requesting for the 
number of uh, rows of the particular table and finally we are calling the list method on the criteria object which is given by the set projection in other words we can declare it something like this also let's run this so we are getting here the number of rows of the table is 7 so this is how we can get the number of rows of a table by using the method row count calling on projections let's create one more clause to get the, a maximum salary value So this is the program. In here we are using the method max calling on the projections. So by means of this method we are getting the record, uh, we are getting the maximum salary value from the database table. Let's run this. Okay fine we got it. let's create one more clause to, uh, to group names of the worker table So this is our program. So in here I'm adding a projection group property. So it groups the records of uh, with the names only. So this is what it does and also I am adding one more restriction here that the name should not be null one thing we need to keep it in mind that projections is for aggregation function and for grouping so we can uh, add any number of restriction here so we can add all our restriction here so restriction is something different from the projections so projections is only um, it's mainly for uh, aggregation functions and for grouping so let's run this see here it is just simply printing the names all the names from the worker table so this is all so by means of this group property method we can achieve this let's create one more class to get the average salary so this is the program so by using this method projections.avg we can get the average of the salary of whatever the field value we can we are passing here of our table so we know the average is always a double 
so we're typecasting it into double finally we are printing it instead of these two steps we can simply declare it something like this either way is fine okay let's run this well we got the average so this is how we can get the average field value of database table so this is how we can make the use of hibernate criterion projections this projection is for aggregation and grouping and we can add number of uh, restrictions so that is a different one so this is it thanks for watching thank you